five, four, three, two. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to? Yeah. Is it for real, Amy? Yeah. We are on the TV? Yeah. Hi, folks. This TV program is all about you. You want to know why? Because it's a prayer. A prayer for you. But it's a prayer to you. That I want myself and everybody I know to be the best we can be. Were you the best you could be yesterday? Were you today? I think we're getting better. And it's a program that says when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did we treat others. And we're getting good scores on that, aren't we? Uh-huh. Now, this is program number 14,172. And the date is December the 28th. Very close to the false New Year's Eve. The real New Year's is December 21st, the winter solstice. But the fake New Year's is coming up the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st Sunday. The boss said to the secretary, your work is getting better. It's improving. It doesn't take us as long to do it over. Amy, what is this, please? It is the zip code, or zone improvement plan code. Is that what zip code stands for? Yes. Zone improvement plan. Zone improvement plan. And it started out, you, what, around, around 19, 1960, 1970? 1969. It did? Thank yeah. you for that, Amy. And um, area codes, uh, just a minute, please. The FCC got together with the AT&T, American Telephone and Telegraph, when it was still such a big monopoly, and they came up with an emergency code, a telephone number to dial in case of an emergency. 911 is what AT&T said they would give the FCC. 911. Now that's good because back in the old days, if you had to dial an emergency code, you had to dial three numbers, three more numbers, and four more numbers. But now this cut it down to three. Did you know that, Amy? No. Hmm. Well, thank you for that. Uh, now, tell the folks what we have here. That is the New York tree survey new york tree service S survey 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 would you tell me some of the very interesting questions they asked about trees? this was sent out by the arbor association national and i sent them a donation i sent them twelve dollars but you know something, you really don't have to worry about trees. <laughs> they, they know how to crop up again. Did you ever notice a path in the woods? And if you go away and leave it for a year, you come back and it isn't there anymore. It's all sprouted with trees. Trees have a great resiliency. Not the same tree, but a tree like it. Can you see any of those questions, Amy? Uh, 
Question one says, please describe the immediate area where you live. Well, ours is suburban. What's question two? Have you ever climbed a tree? I have. Have you, Amy? Yes. You have? Yes. Once when I was a younger kid. <laughs> when you were a child, did you ever play under or amongst trees? Yes. Did you ever collect leaves, acorns, or pine cones for a school project or just for fun? Uh, no. Do you ever relax in the shade of a tree? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you think the sugar maple is an appropriate choice as the state tree of New York? I do not. <clears throat> what do you think is the best symbol for New York State, Amy, for a tree? Well, I mean, lots of trees have already been taken by other states, so I don't know. It's kind of... I think of... it's a pine tree. Yeah. That's what I see the most. I look out the window, though, and here's that beautiful red maple. Look at it, Amy. Isn't yeah. That something? Next. Do you think, in general, residents of New York care more about trees than people in the rest of the country? No. Who knows? I had no feeling on that one. Which one of the following would you say is the single most important function of trees? Listen to this, folks. Providing shade, providing oxygen, being a source of beauty, removing carbon dioxide to slow climate change, filtering water, Saving energy by cooling our homes and neighborhoods or providing habitats for birds and animals? Amy, that's a trick question. The answer is all of the above. We needed trees for all of the above. To provide oxygen, to take in carbon dioxide. We need trees for all of those things. Right, folks? Okay, that's enough, honey. Okay. Thank you for that, dear. You're welcome. What's this one about, sweetheart? Let's see. This one says, aging gracefully. As a grandma, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, I forget things, and sometimes lose my cool. But it's okay because in the end, no one could ever love my kids and grandkids the way I do. They are my everything. Very, very good. True, folks? That was sent to us by Barbara Mooney. <laughs> Barbara Buen Mooney. Thanks, Amy. That was a good one. This one is an email from YouTube. Saying that as of 2022, your videos have in total one, one, or sorry, 14,000 views. 14,000 views, is that in one year, honey? Yes. Or is that a total? That's the total of 2022. It is? Yes. 14,000 people watch you chat with Glendora? Yes. In the year? 2022. Yes. Cheekers. Uh, the watch time total is 42,000 minutes. 42,000 minutes? Yes. The total likes are 489 likes. You have 35 new subscribers. And the month with the most views was November. Really? Yes. Hmm. Well, thank you for that, you two. What do you have, Amy? This is just a continuation of the email from YouTube. 2023 all-time likes, days since your first uploaded. Since your first upload. All-time comments equal 847. And all-time shares are 7,425. Is that good? Yes. Oh, okay. 
That means 7,000 people shared your videos with other people that they know. Really? Yes. Well, thank you for your response, people. That's a great thing about YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. They tell you what's going on with the audience. You, folks, what's going on with you. It doesn't mention the hats. This one is Christian science people in New York. One is Norma Young, and the other one is Tom McElroy. McElroy. McElroy, yeah. Thank you, Amy. They are Christian science practitioners. One Christian science practitioner told Glennie that Mary Baker Eddy said that a Christian science practitioner couldn't have more than 25 patients. Could not have more than 25 patients. Well, so that uh, that makes me very happy because you know why, folks? At least I know 25 people are being helped. And we're still looking for a spiritual healer. Okay, sweet babe. This says, Soul to Soul Topics, Lori Dunnigan. Done index to museum, museum trailer, and timesheet. Yes, Lori Dunnigan called up from Florida, where her daughter is living. And they all congregated in Florida for Christmas. Listen to this. Lori's mother and dad came all the way from Nova Scotia to Florida. Uh, there was Lori and her husband, the American Airlines pilot. Uh, and there was Lori and the American pilot's son and then her daughter's boyfriend. And they all congregated in Florence, Florida for the Christmas. They'll be going back the day after tomorrow, honey. And uh, Google, what are sea cows? They went kayaking and there were sea cows there. A sea cow is a manatee. That's another name for a manatee. A manatee is a big ocean creature that looks kind of like a bloated walrus. Oh, really? Yes. They're gray and their tails are flat and bulbous. And they like to have their <clears throat> bellies rubbed? Yes. Oh. And so they went uh, kayaking with all these manatees. How do you spell manatee? Manatee is M-A-N-A-T-E-E. -E. You know, Amy came in third in the spelling bee. Mm. She lasted until third. Yeah. Well, anyway, we told jokes. Everybody had a joke. Uh, what else is on that uh, topics list, honey? We must tell you that we finished a huge project, folks. Uh, we paid $200 to a couple to make a new index list of the columns and the drawers in the museum. There's 40 columns and uh, six drawers per column. So there's 240 drawers and to make an index for them. And then we tried to compare them to the old index that we had made long ago, and they didn't match at all. But Amy struggled with it and struggled with it and did three columns a day. And about how many do you think you got matched, Amy? About 117. Wow. Wow. So the museum is up to date. April Jacobs went to the museum Monday and said everything was fine. She caught, saw mouse traps, tracks, and squirrel tracks over the snow, but she didn't find anything in the museum. You remember I told the woman who runs the uh, uh, storage units with the green doors up on Route 20 in Skodak, I said, for... 40 years I've been able to keep the mice out of my museum just with mothballs. And you know what she said? 
or last year the mice were wearing masks. What else is on your reminder list there? A uh, timesheet. Timesheet. The people at Consumer Direct who pay the people who help Glenny, uh, Phil, and Amy, and April. They're so nice. And they called up and said, not you, Amy, but Phil or somebody messed it all up and put in three and a half extra hours here on the clock in time pool. And I said, you want me to pay that out of my pocket? They said, yes. So I did. We paid him $60 and $3. What else is on there, hon? Uh, the timesheet is the last one on the new uh, Soul to Soul list. Okay. And what do you got for jokes? We didn't write any jokes for oh. the new one. Oh, okay. Thanks. Th that that you hold in your hand is the certificate for the Nassau Free Library. The congratulations on reading the... Could I, could I show it to the people, hon? Sure. I can take it here. Uh-huh. There you go. That's a certificate? Yep. Do I have it upside down? No, you had it right the first time. There you go. <laughs> now it's the right way. <laughs> Got a good picture of it there? Yeah. What's it say? It says, Congratulations, Glendora Buell, on reading the entire World Book Encyclopedia A to Z from your friends at the Nassau Free Library. Nice. I'm going to hand you that, please. And then, is this a lovely letter from the director of the library? No, those are all the jokes and words that you had together in a pile. Do you see the lovely letter, hon? I can get the letter for you. I think it's still in the, the um, what is it called? Thing okay. Holder. And then I'll tell you, the man called up his, the man came rushing home from work, and he says, honey, honey, I'm going to lose my job. The company has found something that will do the work of five men. And she said, one woman. <laughs> what did the judge say to the dentist? Do you swear to pull the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth? And what did the patient say to the dentist? Hey, doc. You still haven't pulled the right tooth yet. And the dentist says, no, but I'm getting closer. Here's your letter oh, from the library. Oh, thank you, honey. Have I got in the right direction for the? Just like that. Thanks. Can you read it from there, hon? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Oh, you have good eyesight. Well, that's why I wear glasses. <laughs> it says, Nassau Free Library, December 7th, 2022. Dear Glendora, congratulations on a job well done. Back in 2016, your journey to reading all of the World Book Encyclopedia began at the Nassau Free Library. We applaud you for your diligence in reading all 21 volumes of the World Book and hope that you feel a great sense of accomplishment. Thank you, as always, for your patronage to the Nassau Free Library. We are grateful to, to have you as a friend and supporter of our library. Sincerely, Tracy Clegg, Nassau Free Library Director. Oh, you're so kind to do that. Thank you so much. And thank you, Amy, for disinterring this from Think Folder Wear 3. One. Good for you. Thank you. Helping others, you'll enjoy a satisfaction guaranteed. We got rid of the ego. Selfishness is not allowed. We want you to have a piece of past this understanding. Helping others, you'll enjoy a satisfaction guaranteed. It says Bible passage, Isaiah 41.10. Can you read it, hon? 
So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be damaged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Nice. Amy, would you mind doing that again? So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be damaged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Nice. And what else is on there? The hymn says, Blessed Reassurance. Or Blessed blessed, blessed Assurance, sorry. I yeah. read that wrong. Hmm? Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory be thine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of the Spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Anything else there, hon? The next one is just jokes. It says number 26 to 28. What did it say, sweetheart? Jokes 26 to 28. So you have to look at the joke sheet and read the jokes from the joke okay, sheet. Okay, I tell you joke number 26. Let me hear you laugh. <laughs> Let me tell you joke 27. Okay. I don't know what that means. Do you? Let's see. It says... David said that the resort they stayed at this year was so dull, the tide went out and never came back. That's a good joke, honey. Very good joke. The next one says, what is vacation? The time of the year when they close the roads and open the detours. Yeah, it is. Good. Vacations are great. People get up at 4 a.m. and drive hundreds of miles just to find a sign that says home cooking. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, thank you, hon. You salvaged it. And that's all that's on that paper that you're holding in your hand. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I hand that to you or put it over here? Yeah. Your pile? Is there anything on the other paper that you have? Uh, these are just the rest of the jokes that are on this paper. <laughs> okay. And what's going on here? And those are the words. The words? Yes. Amy, you're good at that. All right. Let's see. We got word number one is affirm. Affirm. Confirm, ratify, assert as as true. Is assert? assert positively. Okay. Confirm. This is affirm. Affirm. Affirm is confirm. Affidavit, a sworn statement under oath before an authorized officer. That's you, Tracy uh, Pratt at Community Bank. Kinderhook. Affirmation, a solemn declaration made under penalties of perjury by a person who consequently or conscientiously, conscientiously honey. declines t taking an oath. Yes, if you don't want to take an oath because Christ said, don't swear by anybody or anything. Don't swear by Jerusalem. Don't swear by God. Let your nay be nay and your yea be yea. So if you don't want to swear in a statement, then you don't have to swear by anything. You can do it uh, without swearing. You just take the... Uh, a statement that you are saying this and it is true. 
Read the affirmation definition again, would you, dear? Affirmation. A solemn declaration made under penalties of perjury by a person who conscientiously declines taking an oath. Amy, what happened to the frog? The frog, he didn't obey the parking sign. What happened to him? He got towed. <laughs> yeah. And is there anything else on that sheet there? Uh, the last two words are affiacious and afflict. What is that? Affiacious and afflict. Affiacious is divine imparting of knowledge, overmastering supernatural impulse. I know what that is, honey. It's our writing. It's afflatus. Oh, afflatus, yeah. yeah. An afflatus is a divine imparting, is an imparting of divine knowledge. And an afflatus is an overwhelming supernatural impulse. Afflict means to inflict some great injury or harm, causing continued pain or mental distress. Ugly. To trouble grievously. Ugly. We don't want to afflict anybody. And that's it. That's the last word for today. Hmm. And when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did we treat others. And the man went into the court with a parking ticket in his hand. And the judge says, why did you park there? The man says there was a sign that said fine for parking. What's this, Amy? That is the note that April wrote to you. Oh, April Jacobs, a freshman now at Geneseo State University of New York. Covered with snow at the moment, and how. Uh, and I have a great fondness for her friendship. And this is what she wrote me and left me with last August when she started up school. Would you read it, Amy? Sure. You want me to, you want to give me the paper so I can read it? <laughs> sure. Thank you. I got it. Here. Sorry. False alarm. Hmm? It is a false alarm? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for these past couple wonderful months. I wouldn't change a thing. And then be ungrateful to have you, Glendora, in my life as a wonderful lifelong friend. God bless you. Love, April. How's oh, that for an 18-year-old? Beautiful. It's too bad it didn't work out with April Berkman. Yes, it is too bad. But, you know, Amy, you take what God gives you and you say thank you. Yeah. That's all. You don't complain. You just take what God gives you and you say thank you. Uh, all right. Is there anything that we didn't cover that we should? No. How many minutes has this been, Amy? Uh, 28 minutes and 39 seconds so far. Perfect. A very quick goodbye. Grace and peace unto you and all you love. Amen. <laughs>